Hey guys, Marcus here and um, today in this tutorial I'm going to talk about how easy you can create like editable um, topographic maps with geolayers of course. And to do that I get uh, an empty project right here. So I'm going to create a composition and I'm going to put my layer 1 which has a height map profile um, pre-assigned into this map. Right there, we got it. So I'd like to go to like the Alps, probably. Well, there we go. That's that looks pretty sweet. Um, I don't need my service providers right here. And um, yeah, what can we do with that height map actually? First, I'm gonna finalize it. There we go. Let me give you one tip at first so this composition is called come one right now and if you rename it so let's say it's my height map boom everything's gone what the heck that's because some expressions inside of that comp link to that comp inside of the comp i called i just called height map so actually it links to this property so when you rename it this link breaks and to just um, reconnect it, hit that button, and there we go. All right, what can we do with our geolayer now? Um, I put my head map inside of another comp. There we go, and you can, of course, um, still control it. So you always control the layer that is selected right here. Not, it doesn't matter um, in which comp you are, or at which comp you're looking. I call that one, yeah, let's say topo. And um, there's a pretty cool effect actually. Um, class, no. Colorama. I put that one on here. And you might notice right now what I'm trying to do. You got the output cycle right here. And um, yeah, you get some some preset stuff um but what i want to do i don't need like this stuff i want to do like such a typical topographic map so let's say i want some greens here i want some light yellow i want some of that a bit darker probably i want some light brown with some darker brown and i want some light red and probably some darker red stuff all right see from it this already looks like pretty cool but there's some more stuff we can do so first of all yeah we might we might want to have like water or something right so that's easy i go to my height map um i select the geo shapes tool and um, yeah, what I'm just doing is I draw Europe, all of the countries, I'm drawing it right here. There we go. Features drawn. And if I put this on top, I can of course use it as a track map. There we go. So my turbo, I get it's nicely cut out, and I can well create some blue solid underneath. There's my water, but there's actually one more thing that makes this map look pretty cool, and um, it is the glass effect. So we get a height map, so let's use that height map as like a bump map for shading. And um, if you put CC glass, which comes with After Effects on it, you can see that you can select the height and uh, bump map. So we can use our, our uh, height map that is just right here because it will use it how it looks without the effect that is um, put upon. So that's cool for us. Um, I probably don't want to have any displacement, but I want to have a height actually. And yeah, just you know, just play around with that. You see that it does some shading. You could like 
decrease the softness a bit put it like to five um, you could use like your lights that you use in your AE project or you could use a point light in here and um, when you move this one see that the, the shading changes so this is like that's pretty cool actually great so just let me tell you one more trick um, if you're in a in a composition that does not contain your geolayers comp but you want to like yeah do any of these snap to map stuff um, there's a little trick you might have seen in the server profiles the no download profile so why the heck do you need this actually you can create a no download layer in this comp there we go we don't need service providers here and we don't need to see this one it's just as yeah it's just the geo layers null object just link it to the geo layers one comp uh, in my case uh, that the view is the same and then yeah we could like probably draw um yeah draw italy's country borders there we go let me give you another trick so when you zoom out this view actually my country border is getting of course smaller and smaller and smaller and you might not notice it from like somewhere like here um what you can do is selecting this and putting the size of the stroke to like I don't know very very thin like this you don't even notice it but what you can do with it put some layer styles on it and give it layer style stroke and there we go so the stroke right there you should set the position to the center and of course I'm gonna make this white again probably do five pixels that we can see it pretty well and right now the width of uh, the stroke is not influenced by the zooming so it's always going to be like the five pixels so when I zoom in same thing all right there's actually one feature that is not pretty well known so let me just talk about animating markers of course you can set like markers so this is my null marker and it's snapped to the map okay well, control it right here good you know that it is snapped to the map by this lat long point and you can actually keyframe this point so if i put a keyframe upon here and I go to somewhere in my timeline and I'm going anywhere else wherever yeah let's just search Innsbruck and it centers the view to Innsbruck and uh, what you can do now actually with um, uh, with that button you can hold down control or command and um, click this button again selecting the marker that is already snapped and uh, we need to select of course my second layer so select that one hold down control or command and click it and it jumps up there and what happened it created the keyframe so it just animated the point property in here so that's pretty cool I mean you could do it like by hand but when you're pretty much zoomed in or something this can get pretty pretty awkward because it has like four digits after the comma so that's some pretty kind of exact values hope that was useful for you and have fun using G layers